right, everybody. How's it going again? It's March 22nd, 2023, approximately 3 p.m. in the Big Bear area. We are getting snow again. And out of this, the rest of this storm, we could get maybe two or three more inches total. But as you guys know, when we get any change, I'm out here showing you guys what's happening. So we're gonna drive over to the Big Bear Dam area, which is the snowiest part of town, to see what is going on over there. Say hi, babe. <laughs> hey, everybody. We've been having a lot of fun on that live feed with you guys. Thank you all for being there. It is a lot of fun. Very nice, nice people. I don't know, you need to stay back here. Just stay back a little bit. Okay. What a beautiful sight. We're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. And I think she just wanted to eat me. Hungry, hungry, boom. It's not nice. All right. Okay guys, so we are in the village right now. And one of these shops right here, it's this is a new location called Queen Bee Honey Shop. They have amazing honey products. I'm telling you what you guys, their avocado honey to put on like avocado bread or, or, or avocado toast, sorry, is unbelievable. And they have this amazing like uh, skin balm. My wife loves it so much. Guys, it is high quality stuff they have in there. It's really, really, really good. I don't know if they would hook you guys up with a discount if, if you say that you saw it on the channel. One sec. They might double the price, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you might want to mention it just in case because I did do a little video for, for them. So maybe they would want to hook you guys up too. Really good good people really nice ownership really enjoy it um, as I said they have everything honey in there all right so we are on the boulevard of broken dreams now big bear boulevard here we go leaving Village Drive, entering Big Bear Boulevard. Now, as I said, we're gonna go to the snowiest part of town, which is over by the Big Bear Dam. And and when I say the snowiest part of town, because people sometimes say, well, what about Upper Moon Ridge, Upper Moon Ridge and stuff like that? I'm referring to the snowiest part of the valley floor when I say that. The snowiest part in this whole area is Upper Moon Ridge, for sure. But when it comes to 6,750 to 6,900 feet over by the Big Bear Dam and Boulder Bay, that's our snowiest part of town. So those of you who want to rent a place where it'll, it'll get significantly more snow, the further we go this direction, the better off you'll be. There's a place to go sledding right there. The Alpine slide at Magic Mountain right there. It's a paid sledding experience, but it's got a motorized walkway that pulls you guys up. So when you take your kids there, they can just sled all day without getting tired because they're not gonna have to hike back up. So it's a great, great, great little spot for you guys. And I do have in, in the playlist a video that uh, shows you guys four free sledding locations. So if you're not inclined to be paying, then these are a couple spots that I recommend and I've recommended them to you guys for a long time. Uh, 
That's what I got to ride in, babe. How cool is that? Wow. I know. Guys, there's a video I was in, a, a, or did, a couple weeks ago where I got to ride in one of these big snow plows. It was awesome. I saw a girl, she got to go with her husband today, and she was riding around in the snow plow with him. It was super cute. Really? That's cool, babe. That's cool. It is so gorgeous out here, you guys. It is just amazing. You gotta love this. Oh, it smells like nice firewood. It does, does that smell good? Oh my gosh, you guys, that's the one thing that I'm so bummed about living where I live. There's no fireplace. You would like I thought every house in the mountains before I moved here would definitely have a fireplace, but we just have a wall heater. But then again, I'm very grateful to get any heat. So, but I, 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 I'd be more more grateful to have wall heater or a fireplace. That's, that's my normal face. How dare you say that? <laughs> Such a beautiful, beautiful place. And right here to the left, you guys, that's a real estate office now, that building, but that used to be where the old drive-in was before I moved up here. There was a drive-in theater right there. You guys, we're starting to get some some good snow and grapple mix. Snapple, snapple, we're getting some snapple right now. So I almost got stuck right there last night. Really? During the blizzard, yeah, it was crazy. It was really deep right there. Like really, really deep. Once again, you guys, the further you drive this direction, the deeper the snow will be pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time. Try to remember this neighborhood's name, Boulder Bay. If you want to be in a part of town where it gets a lot more snow, Boulder Bay. You'll turn right in there. And here's Boulder Bay Market. Here's Boulder Bay Park. A really beautiful place. Beautiful place to go walking around. You know what? We gotta do a video there. What am I thinking, right? Like, haven't done a video there in years. Um, we're about to get into an area that's not as good. So from, from about here for about a half a mile, at least my, my Verizon service, I lose, uh, lose service. Oh, it's so gorgeous, all the snow. so cool guys my wife is actually on the live feed right now chatting with you guys while we're driving that's so cool look at all that beautiful fresh snow oh my goodness that is so nice as you guys can see there's just more and more snow the further you go this way and it's not any higher up in elevation at all This is oh so goodness. pretty. Isn't that this beautiful? Is gorgeous. Wow, look at this part. 
It really is unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at how thick the snow is up there. You guys, that's that's amazing. I mean, look at that. Wow, babe. And then driving back, it's a totally different perspective, guys, because obviously we're using a camera, so coming back, it's, oh man, driving into town is basically coming back, as you guys are well aware of, but it is very, very, very pretty. Snow plow. Snow plow, don't it's bother me. to see the snow. Yes, it is. I agree with that. This it's is the guy that does the corners. He does the edges. Oh, yeah. It's getting edged. Careful, babe. Of course, honey. You want to do the polar plunge. <laughs> yeah, not down the mountain. All right. Let's get through here. Blah, blah, blah. So just for you guys' information, I just checked about 45 minutes ago on Highway 18 coming up the backside through Lucerne Valley. It's R3 conditions. All vehicles must have chains, no exceptions. On Highway 38, it looks like it's R2 conditions, which means that if you have all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive with snow tires, you're good to go. Otherwise, even if you have all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, you still need tire chains. And on Highway 18, the front side, it's R2 and R3 conditions in certain spots. So go on the Caltrans Quick Map app if you're courageous enough to come up and uh, check it out for yourself. I don't want you guys to be turned around or have any issues, okay? It's all about you guys getting up here to just share a wonderful, fun experience with your loved ones and enjoy the beautiful snow. I don't need anything, yep, nothing. If I was doing a live feed over here, even though we have internet in the car now, so I'm interested to see, we're, we're gonna try it out one of these days, for sure, to see how that works. Yeah, as you guys can see, the roads are not in the greatest shape over here, but it still is very special. Just be careful coming up here. But a few of you asked me if the roads are, are even open, and yes. I just told you guys the chain conditions, the chain law requirement right now. So those people that just passed us, did they come up the yes. 330? Yep. Okay, with chains. I, I didn't notice, but they, um, uh, so I don't know if it was this part of Highway 18 at the Little Arctic Circle where it was R3 conditions. Um, but it did say part of Highway 18 was R3 on the front too. But I think maybe that may have been past Crestline from like Crestline to Lake Arrowhead area. I'm not sure. I am not sure, you guys. Oh, look at all the snow over here, babe. This is an awful lot of snow. All right, guys, so we're gonna turn right at the light and then make it you or, or turn around and, and come back. We're at the Big Bear Dam. If we head straight through this stoplight, you're gonna be entering the Little Arctic Circle. And that'll take you towards Snow Valley and Running Springs, etc., etc. Okay. All right, you guys. Baby, can you hold this? Just, just while I am turn. Ooh, it's hot. It is warm, huh? Fire. Uh, we're this we're gonna is a fire. Look at that. How cool is that? Are you getting that, babe? Yeah, they am. How awesome is Whoa. that? Whoa! Yeah, he's grinding up that snow. That was so cool. Grinding up that snow. Grinding, grinding up that snow. You know what that song is? I have no idea. It's Beyonce. Wow, that's a really good influence for children. Grinding up that snow, huh? What? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> no, not you, Beyonce. She doesn't, it, she, 
She, it's I mean, actually surfing on that board. I oh, just changed oh, oh, you changed that? Okay, I thought that was the song was really called <laughs> Grinding Up That Snow. I was like, geez. Like, what is she thinking? I got here. here sorry. I, I'm sorry, because I thought I was going to be able to turn around right there right away. You know what? We'll just go around. How's that sound, babe? Because we're going back to the house anyway. Sure. Sure, Bert. Sure, sure, sure. Sure, did he sure? Sure, did he sure? And I know, looking through the camera, guys, it looks like I am flying, but I'm not even going 30 miles an hour, okay? A lot of you, a lot of you guys give me really good constructive criticism and I do, I take it. I really do when it's of the constructive nature. So when I'm looking at the road, which is what I'm doing the whole time, when I peek up for a split second at the camera, it does look like we're going faster in the camera. So just know you guys, I'm, I, I, I'm really not, I'm really not driving that, that fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm really not, babe. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're right on the lake here. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but we're right on the lake. You can't see the other side because of the snow squall. You got that stuck in my head. This phone is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> No, she's she's in minor leagues for that. <laughs> Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I love Weird Al. I like the female Weird Al. I love Weird Al. He's he's so. Who great. doesn't? Who doesn't? You know, if Weird Al makes a song, copying you, What's that. What's your favorite Weird Al song? Maybe the one he does for um, instead of Black Hole Sun for Soundgarden. Or, or when he does uh, the, uh, oh my gosh, what's his name? Billy Joel. Um, he does a Billy Joel song, make, um, makes fun of the song. Um, right now, he's having a Billy Joel song documentary film on Netflix. Really? Uh, or no, not on Netflix, on Roku. And it's hilarious, you guys. The guy from Harry Potter, what's his name? He plays um, Weird Al, and he does such a good job. If you guys have a chance to watch the Weird Al movie on Roku, watch it, because it will have you laughing can I, hysterically. Can I tell you guys a, a quick little Harry Potter story? Sure. So I was never into that type of stuff, but when I was... I think it was tw uh, 12 years old, 13. I had an acting contract in Hollywood with like the biggest child star manager named Linda Goodfriend. She was Fred Savage's manager at the time when like he was doing the Wonder Years and all, and, and, and all that stuff. Long story short, one of the auditions that I got was to be Harry Potter. Oh. So I got to go read for Harry Potter and uh, obviously I, I did not get it, but I had the same bowl cut. Um, obviously I was gonna have to a British accent. Mine's not that great, but I'll give it a whirl. Oh, Daniel Radcliffe, that's who plays. Daniel Radcliffe, that's yes. That's who plays yes. Uh, Weird Al Yankovic. Guys, you gotta see it, it's so funny. And that's an awesome story, baby. Thanks, babe. That's so cool. So did you do, when you auditioned, did you do like the accent or? Um, I just read straight and producer was in there, director was in there. In Beach Boy accent in your new <laughs> Yeah, Boy totally, accent. totally. <laughs> Give me my one. I had Give no idea. So so I had never seen it. My sister Stephanie, who's a doctor now, she was so excited for me because she she loves Harry Potter. She's like 17 years older than me. So cute. But um 
Yeah, my problem was as as a kid, I can read very well, read very very quickly, but I don't retain information. So I hated to read. Just random reading, I hated to read. Um, and so for these auditions, some of them I had to memorize 30 to 50 pages in like 25 to 30 minutes, and it was like I'd be in tears. I'd be in, in tears about it. I was always really good at, at memorizing. Yeah, um, you're man. Like I, I wish I was because I could have had a, a, a you know a decent acting career. There was a Nickelodeon show that blew up big time that I auditioned for also. But once again, it was a, with the Nickelodeon guy. All the kids at school when my brother came to pick me up to take me for the audition were like, wow, that is so cool. Some of the mean kids were like mean about it. Jealous. Like totally jealous. Like like what a dork. Like da -da -da. like you know, but I felt so cool like leaving school to go do an audition for a movie. And a TV show and stuff like that. In my family, we have lots of actors on my mom's side of the family. Lots of stuff that I know you guys have seen for sure. Like my uncle, God rest his soul, he, he passed away young d due to a bad heart issue at UCLA. But he, he was in Beverly Hills 90210, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, did a ton of ton of voiceovers. My aunt, his his wife lots of stuff they actually run like some like acting department at beverly hills high school and and they um they put on lots of plays you, you actually spoke have, to her when we were at that went to when we were at the jewelry store you, you talked oh, yes, to her. yeah I did. that's I that's the aunt yeah didn't she do some kind of like claymation thing or i don't know I wrong? Or she did a voiceover. Tons of voiceovers. Okay, that's like what tons. It is. Yeah. And she was she was she was also someone who would be a script reader to give the final okay to like Universal or these other huge, 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 oh, nice. huge companies to say go ahead with the movie. Yeah, it's crazy. That's my aunt. But uh yeah, I hated to read, you guys. I hated to read. And we just went through Fawn Skin and I didn't tell you guys a thing about it because I'm being <laughs> so selfish talking about me. I apologize. So that was Fawn Skin. <laughs> yeah. If you blinked, you missed it. When Nick and I first started dating, um, I was on the phone with him and I went into that, what is it, like a little... Boutique type store, yeah. Yeah, it has like liquor store items and then little like collector items that you can buy if you're through here visiting. And nice stuff. I saw um, like these really pretty... Uh, ponchos. Ponchos. Beautiful ones that were like wool, like this rare Thick. wool thing. Beautiful. Nick was like, well, where are you? And um, I told him, and that he, I was like, but they're really expensive. I don't want one. He was like, I'll buy you one. Don't worry. And I was like, no, 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 it's fine. <laughs> Later on, he showed up to my house, and he bought me, like, four of them. <laughs> he bought, no, he literally, you guys, bought me all of them that were on the rack. <laughs> yep, I did. Every color, because he didn't, and I said, why'd you buy all of them? Because I, 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 I didn't, didn't know, know which one you wanted. You yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you could have called me, and he said, but I wanted to surprise you. <laughs> so I have these beautiful uh, ponchos that I absolutely love. I brought one with us. Did you really, honey? And yeah, can't wait to wear. Those I'll never out now forget in that. Degree weather. And I rode <laughs> rode my motorcycle over here with a friend of mine to pick them up. And I remember I had like these big plastic bags. I was carrying two for four huge plastic bags that had those ponchos inside of them on my arms while I'm riding my Harley. It was awesome. That was so cool, babe. You really, really liked them a lot. That made me so happy. I mean, I still wear them, and especially on snowy days like this, because I, I'm a really cold person. Um, they work. Amazingly, they work, and it's rare that I say that something is warm or it works. That's true. My wife gets really cold. Like really, 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 really cold. That's why I like my silver jacket. I bought that at Costco. And I don't remember what brand it is, but it's definitely doing the job for the snow, snowy weather. It's waterproof, it's like a rain jacket. Oh, it's not a gun. Not a gun. It's a rain jacket and it's feather, down feather on the inside. So. It, it's not a ka? It's not a ka. Yes, it's ka. Not a ka. No, yes, it's ka. <laughs> Sorry guys, I am I am strange. You guys know that. You guys know that by now. Strange, Nick is 
Also, I I kept 1-800 flowers in business, buying my wife flowers, you guys. Kept them in business, didn't I, babe? Yeah, so much so that the uh, delivery driver was like, okay, uh, this is getting scary. I want to <laughs> cut this person off. <laughs> he was scared for me and gave me a forewarning. <laughs> Careful, okay? But she didn't listen. If you need anything. She didn't listen. <laughs> Dude was just jealous because he saw how gorgeous you are, and he's like, "Dang, that guy got got to her first. He was a jealous." Never forget the first time I saw saw my wife. That was it. The moment I saw her, that was it. And crazy enough, last thing about us real quickly, then we'll get back to the weather, <laughs> is uh, she had actually seen this channel before she moved up here from the LA area. And so she knew who I was, which is really, really cool. And I thought I would use that as an advantage, right babe? Yeah, but it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. I was like, oh yeah, that's that big bear weather guy. <laughs> no, actually I, I found the same. Like it, it, it was not until we had talked a little bit more and then I was like, oh my gosh, I know what you're talking about. I have watched your channel, so. <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. All right, we are on North Shore, you guys. This is also known as Highway 38. did a loop around the lake just to show you guys what's going on okay. as, you, Go ahead. as you can see there's significantly less snow over here compared to the Big Bear Dam remember you guys if you want to stay where there's more snow try to find a place located um, as close to the Big Bear Dam as possible um, like from the village of Big Bear to the dam that's the snowiest part of the valley. If, if you just want less snow and just want to get away, then Baldwin Lake, parts of Big Bear City, significantly less snow. What were you saying, huh? Um, that one of the followers, thank you for following, gave a, a suggestion earlier that they would like to maybe, when you end the video, to just kind of give a super brief description of what the road conditions are if you're able. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. Uh, yeah, the, the, the one, the road conditions like the highways, 38, 18 inches. Absolutely. Alright, so over here, I know you're not, you're, you're not going to be able to see it, pardon my reach, babe. But right across there is Snow Summit you can't see it because of the snow falling. Usually this is one of the most beautiful views in the whole town, looking from this side of the lake over to Snow Summit Ski Resort. It's, it is just phenomenal. so diligent babe he's such a hard 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 worker but yeah he missed a, a, a little spot he does a great job though look at this little blue sky up there get some snow and some blue sky it's 30 degrees about 3.40 p.m. 
my clock here is a little bit fast in the car. I do need to change it. Alright guys, when we go down Stanfield Cutoff, I'm going to put the phone out the window to raise it above the car to get the best view of the lake that we can get, okay? Because if I handed the phone to my wife, she'd be too close to the barriers and she wouldn't be able to raise it up high enough. So hopefully, you'll raise me up to take a good look at the lake. There's a... Escuela. All right, we're gonna go slow because there's no one behind us. Here's the lake, and hopefully we don't drop the phone. Look at this. This side, usually there's there's no water in it. It's full of water now. Wow, babe, that's awesome. Just amazing. Oh, look at the eagles. The eagles, you guys, are right there. Right Those are the bald edge. eagles right yes, there. Yes, they're right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I let's... wish we could get off and like, just try to go record them. I think Everybody we are. Everybody loves seeing the eagles. Oh my gosh, you guys. There's really nowhere to park. Oh. Well, we just witnessed the eagles guys, right at I've... the edge of the lake. That was beautiful. I've never oh, seen any gosh. of the bald eagles ever up I've here. I've seen them flying in the sky, and now we just. Witness There's them. a bunch of them Literally right there. They're sitting at the edge of the lake drinking the water. Plotting their next treat. <laughs> God, babe, that was so good. Cool. Good Did eye on that. Them? Yeah, I saw the the, the the bald heads and everything, or the, the white right. top. Yeah, it's just amazing. Yeah, not I'm bald. not looking in the mirror, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back on Big Red Boulevard. Wow, babe, good eye. It's so exciting. Maybe been, uh, we captured it a little bit. Yeah, we've been capturing a lot of the wildlife lately, so that's that was fun cool. For everybody. That at the hotel, a bunch of coyotes were there too. That's awesome. Babe, good catch. That's a great one. That's the coolest wildlife that I've seen up here. I, the only time I saw a bear, even though there are lots of bears up here, I've only seen one in eight years, and, and it was on my ring doorbell in the middle of the night one night, which shocked me because my next door neighbor Matt, who's been there in my little neighborhood he's been there for 30 years now and he said he's seen one one bear there the whole time oh wow but if you go up to sugarloaf and stuff like that oops ambulance i've seen bears the bears a few times oh look at this daring chap the bears and the bulls walking facing traffic. He's a hiker. That's pretty awesome. That is awesome. Speaking of hiking, that season's coming up real soon where we're going to start seeing a, a bunch of people hitchhiking everywhere from the uh, Pacific Crest Trail. They hitchhike in town just to obviously get certain places, but we get a lot of PCT people up here and a lot of our locals actually like serve them food and drinks and stuff it's it's really cool it's really really cool all right you guys so really 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 quickly once again highway 38 because this is the end of the video highway 38 coming up on the front side is our two conditions highway 18 through lucerne valley on the back side are three conditions as of an hour and a half ago highway 18 on the front side um there's it, it's mostly r2 but there are a few spots where it's r3 conditions none of the roads are closed so you can all come up here and have a good time thank you guys for cruising with us thank you for watching like and subscribe and share with your friends yeah if thanks. you like your friends <laughs> and if you don't like them share with them anyway <laughs> that's what nick wants thanks guys <laughs> Once again, love you guys. You guys have been awesome. Hope, hope you guys hop on the live feed. 
say hello to us and because this will probably be the last night well uh, until this snowstorm ends then the live feed will be done but until next time it's march 22nd 2023 we love y'all